Hello everyone. So for today's video, I wanted to do something informative instead of making a drink. And this one is how to cut and juice a white grapefruit. Now I know there's many videos out there on how to cut a grapefruit and to use a juicer, but I think for a tiki bar, this method is probably the quickest and easiest way to get juice to make a drink. And I have to give credit to Colonel Tiki because I learned this technique on his website. Now I have a white grapefruit tree and last year's harvest was very, I guess, robust. The grapefruits were bigger and very juicy and I used this style of juicer. So I did not need much force to really extra extract a ton of juice from them. But um, we had a really hot summer in 2021 and I tried my best to water the tree but for some reason the uh, this year's harvest was not very um, it wasn't as good as last year so this method actually extracts the maximum amount of juice but the thing is though there is no bitterness now using using um, this type of juicer if you press a little too hard you're gonna extract bitterness and what I found out was that a lot of the bitterness in fact most bitterness I would probably say 99% of it comes from the center stock of the grapefruit. So this method uh, actually eliminates that and you get just good pure grapefruit juice, no bitterness at all. So what you wanna do is grab your white grapefruit, nice sharp hairy knife. Now, here's the, I guess the, uh, the, I don't know what it's called, but that's the part of the grapefruit where it attaches to the stem. And like I said, that center stock that runs down is, where the bitterness is concentrated. So picture this as the earth and this as the equator. So you're gonna to wanna to cut your grapefruit in half through the equator. So just like so. Now, you can actually see, now that it's cut in half, what I'm talking about. This center stock here, that's where all the bitterness is concentrated. Now the goal is to, to cut that away. And again, there are many other ways, many other videos on YouTube on how to avoid that, but like I said, I think for a tiki bar and for a bar in general, this is the best way, quickest. So cut it in half through the equator. Now you have two halves. Cut these in half again, like so. Now when they're in quarters, you can really see that white stock. And finally, take your quarters, cut them in half again through the half like that to get eighths. Now you can really see that white center stock where the bitterness is. So go ahead and do that for the rest of them. Now you have a bunch of eighths, little wedges. Next, actually I should say the, fa the last and final step is to grab each, each eighth wedge and turn it so you can cut this white center stock away. So I'm gonna grab this one, flip it up, and just cut it right there. And there you can see, that is the white, the white bitter center stock. Discard that. Now you have a wedge, which is pretty much just pure grapefruit. And like I was saying, I think about 95% of the bitterness is concentrated in that white stock and a little bit in the actual peel, but you'll use this type of juicer and you won't press too hard and extract the bitter oils out of the peel, but I'll get to that in a second. So let's just go ahead and get these center stalks cut away. Cut that out, discard. So let's go ahead and do that for all of them. Cut. Cut it away. There you go. Last one. So now, cutting a whole grapefruit, you should have eight wedges. Now I use this Juicel Mat 1950s era to squeeze my citrus for my tiki drinks. So the beauty of this is you can either squeeze it by hand which is quick and crude, it'll work, or you can use this type of juicer. And again, another bonus, cutting them down like this 
puts them into a size that you can use a juicer like this. So let's go ahead and juice these. Let's see how much we get. Kind of uh, at a bad angle here so that you can see the camera. So not gonna get too much juice because like I said, this year's harvest. Oh, well that happens sometimes. <laughs> Lost a little bit of juice there, but but yeah, you get the gist. I got a little bit there. But like I said, this year's harvest was not that great for my tree. Maybe it's a mature one, I don't know. The tree was here when we moved into our house over a decade ago. But anyways, so this method is extracting the maximum amount of juice from my crappy harvest. So we're getting some juice. All right. So it looks like we got about, so we got a little over an ounce, an ounce of grapefruit juice. And uh, most, most classic tiki drinks take about that amount. Jet Pilot, 1934 Don Beach Zombie. So there you go, one grapefruit. I got a little over an ounce of juice and this is perfect. So now all that's left for me is to decide whether I want a Jet Pilot or a 1934 Don Beach Zombie. So anyways, I hope this helps everybody out, uh, you know, that's into Tiki. Um, like I said, there's many other methods out there, but I feel that this is the best method for a Tiki bar and this really works for me. So again, credit goes out to Colonel Tiki. I will leave a link in the description to his website and thank you, Mr. Colonel Tiki for this method. It is very, very effective. So be safe everyone and I hope this helps out and uh, please like, subscribe. I appreciate all of the support. Be safe and uh, we will see you soon. Cheers.